Are you looking to launch your very own job board, but don't want to get bogged down with technical headaches? What if I told you that you could have a fully functional job board live in under 10 minutes? No coding, no complicated setups, and zero stress. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can build a profitable niche job board using Jboard. Whether you're looking to tap into the booming tech industry or any other niche, you'll have your board ready to go in record time. Now, before we jump into the platform, let's quickly go over the essentials that you'll need to have ready. To launch your job board smoothly, you're gonna need a niche to focus on, a custom domain and logo, and a few job sources for scraping. I'll show you how to do that later. All right, let's jump into Jboard. So, now that our job board has been created, let's make it look great. So let's head over to Customize Appearance. Okay, now first things first, this is what your job board looks like out of the box. So the first thing you'll notice is that there's no logo. So we need to click on Edit Header and upload a logo. Now, if you click on Replace, it'll bring that up with your file explorer. Um, find the image that you want. I have created one very quickly in Canva, um, that you can see here. So you can see that's updated on the screen here as well. Now, let's update the hero section, this section here. We've got a few pre-designed hero sections that you can choose from, but I'm going to stick with this one and I'm gonna change the background image. And to do that, you click on edit section, go to styles, go to section style, and have a look here at the background image. Again, let's replace that. I've downloaded one from Pexels, which is a free image repository online. Um, and I'm just gonna update that here. Okay, great, you can see that's updated. Now, I'm also going to update the header text to make it more fitting to my niche. Into content, find your next dream job, and I'm gonna just say find your next uh, developer opportunity. Uh, and my subtitle is, I'm just going to get rid of this number one job board, I'm gonna say the best. Um, software jobs with top developer talent. There we go. So once you're happy with that, you hit save. Okay, now I'm also going to um, add a job alert subscription box. This is a great way to capture leads from job seekers. Now to do that, hover over where you want to add that, click on add section, go to alert subscriptions, and click on the inline alerts subscription form. And there we go. We have now got a job alert subscription box up and running on your job board. Now, in a separate video, I'm gonna run you through how you can use our really powerful drag and drop website builder to fully customize the look and feel of your job board. Now, let's head back to our dashboard. Clicking back here. Okay, now our job aggregator allows you to automatically scrape and import job listings from popular career sites or other job boards directly into your platform. This is perfect for jump-starting your job board or continuously adding fresh content. Having relevant, up-to-date job listings not only attracts more job seekers, but it also establishes your job board as a valuable resource in your niche. The aggregator makes this process fast and easy. So let's take a look at how it works. From the dashboard that you're seeing now, head to jobs aggregation, go into aggregators, and go to add aggregator. Now here you've got a choice of either a web page scraper or an XML feed importer. For this example, we're gonna talk about web page scraping. Find yourself a career site that's got the kind of jobs you want to go in there. I found a Spotify career site, and I filtered out for engineering roles. So I'm going to copy the URL from here, go back into my aggregator, go to the web page scraper, and add that URL into here. So once I've got that URL in there, I now click on start configuring web page scraper. Now, there are lots and lots of options in here. I'm going to rename it 
so that I know that it's the Spotify aggregator. I'm going to leave the URL as it is. I'm going to leave the active job limits as unlimited. The employer it's going to get from the job posting. Um, and I'm not going to change any other details in here. Um, I could add a filter um, with keywords. So I could add in there um, the keyword for software developer or engineer and only have that check out the job title so that it filters through only relevant job titles. Um, and I can also do the same for excluded keywords as well. But I'm happy with how it is. So once I'm happy with that, I click on create. Now, the system's going to start pulling in jobs that match your criteria. This usually takes a couple of minutes to do. So I'm just going to pause the video now and I'm going to come back to that video in a couple of minutes once uh, the jobs have been imported. And I'm back and as you can see the aggregator has now completed um, its first scrape and a total of 16 jobs have been imported. Now you can click on this to take a look at what those jobs are. So let's have a look uh, and you can see that there um, that they've all been brought in they're all active um, on your job board. Now you can actually take a look at your job board by clicking on this link at the top. And if we click on there um, and we scroll down to where the jobs are, you can see the Spotify jobs in there as well. Now that's just taken a couple of minutes to bring back in. Um, and with this feature, ultimately you're saving hours upon hours of manual work, of copying and pasting. And it really ensures that your job board remains active and really competitive in the niche that you've chosen. Okay, now let's head back to our dashboard. In order to make money from your job board, you need something to sell. And that's usually charging employers to advertise their jobs. So let me show you how to create flexible packages that fit your business model and attract more employers. Now, your pricing strategy can make or break the success of your job board. Whether you're offering free trials, one-time purchases, or subscription plans, it's essential to create the options that work for your niche and your customers. Now, to set your pricing up, navigate to set up pricing for your job board on your checklist. Now in here, you can see three options that are usually um, defaulted out of the package. Now what we're going to do is we're going to run through the options. If we click on edit, now here's one I made earlier as they say. So this one is for a single job posting. Now um, what you can do is you can call this, um, you know, a, a one-time posting, whatever you want to call it. Um, and here is where um, you can add in the description what's included, uh, what's not included, etc. Now. Um, when we scroll down, um, we can also have a, um, a call to action. In fact, um, the best thing you can probably do is click on view live pricing page and this will show you all of the different options that we're working through here. So we're working on this one here. So let's watch how this changes. Um, so let's say um, great for one of hiring needs. Um, let's leave that as it is. Company career page, you get one standard job post job posts are live for 30 days, job alerts sent to potential candidates and distributed on the Google Jobs network. It doesn't include featured posts, social media sharing, or the company logo on the homepage or access to the resume database. Let's say um, great for um, one time, just to show that coming through, um, one time hiring needs. And that goes along with our one time posting name. Um, we're gonna give the uh, call to action a different name um, post your job now and now the pricing details now we could have this as free we could have it as a one-off purchase or we could have it as a subscription now for this example let's turn it to a one-off purchase um, and let's change that to 90, uh, 90, 99 dollars there we go fat fingers um, and let's only give them 30 days to use that purchase so once they've made that purchase they've only got 30 days to actually use it now, when we go to the post jobs options, allow posting jobs, yes. Um, we're only gonna allow one job to be posted for that $99, and it's gonna expire in 15 days. Um, so, good point there. Let's scroll back up, and let's change this to live for 15 days. It's not gonna be featured. It's not gonna be pinned to the top. Um, now, featured means 
it's highlighted, um, so it's a bit special. Pinned to the top, it's always going to be at the top of your job listings, that's what that means. We're not going to be featuring the employer, um, so we're not going to have their logo on the home page, and we're not going to give them access to a resume or CV database. Okay, so let's update that. Now, let's scroll back up to the top and let's view our live pricing page there. Now we can see that's changed. Um, if you remember correctly, the original was single job posting, um, it was free and it was live for 30 days and the, and the call to action was get started. We've now changed that to a one-time posting for $99, it's live for 15 days and the call to action is now post your job now. Now there's various different options that you can have here, like I said, um, and we've set up pricing for monthly subscriptions for featured job options as well. So it's up to you to make sure that you get your job posting absolutely right. It's very, very easy to change it, but it's making the this page compelling. That's very, very key to success. Okay, now let's head back to our dashboard. So the next thing that we probably need to do is link to a custom domain. This gives your board a really professional look. So rather than it being techjobboard2.myjboard.io, you can call it something else. And let's just call it <clears throat> www.techexampleboard.com. So there you can see that. So when you do want to update your domain name, you also need to update your domain's DNS settings to point to your IP address. Now, if you don't understand this, that's absolutely fine. This is probably the most technical thing that you're ever going to have when you're setting up our job board. There's a helpful guide that you can click on with full instructions there. Okay, now let's head back to the dashboard. Now, what we've done so far is we've created the job board, we've customized the appearance, we've imported some jobs, we've set up some products that we can sell, we've connected it to our own domain, and we're ultimately ready to go. But the next thing you need to do very quickly is just click on view your job board. Up here is the quickest way to get to it. And this will take you straight to your job board. So now you can see what your job board looks like. So you can see we've updated the logo. We've updated the header image here. We've added a, um, a subscription box for our job alerts. And if we scroll down to the jobs, um, we've got a bit of dummy data for the first three. But then you can see all of these jobs that have come in through Spotify nine minutes ago as we were updating our job board. And there we have it, a fully functioning job board. And that's it. You've just created a fully functional job board in under 10 minutes. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel for more tips on growing your job board and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future content. If you have any questions, Drop them in the comments below and our team will come back to you as soon as they can. Happy job board building.